Hi everyone, it's Rendon with TJ Free. In this video, I want to quickly show you a couple different options for getting drum sounds and drum sets and drum kits into LMMS and into your audio projects. A lot of these are also going to work with other digital audio workstations as well, um, but I'm going to be demonstrating them on LMMS uh, in Linux. These will also work on Windows. They're completely free and open source. And I'm just going to dive uh, in and just show you real quick here what these are. So we're going to be looking at this, uh, the, the Red Zeppelin and the Black Pearl from this AVL drum kits. We'll also look at the built-in drum kit from Zen Add Sub Effects. We're going to look at Fabla, which is going to be uh, not really a drum kit, but an option for getting some different drum sounds and percussion sounds uh, for sampling, just kind of a, a nice tool to use. And then we'll be looking at drum kits from Drum Gizmo. And these are just really cool kits you can download. I'm also going to touch on just using a sound font a little bit and demonstrate that as well. So that's what we're going to be looking at. And let's hop over to the screencast and take a look here. So what I have running here is just a bass run in the background, just a looping bass pattern. And then I'll mute different kits and, and unmute kits just to show you. So this, this one, for example, is the Black Pearl uh, by AVL Drum Kits. And what's nice about it, it's a full um, plugin. This is like an LV2 plugin. I, like I said, I'm running this on Linux. And this will run on Windows also. And it's nice, it gives you a nice visual representation of the drum kit. You can click a certain drum and hear what it sounds like. Uh, and then you can also, um, you can also play these on the keyboard as well. So you can play the, the notes on the keyboard and see them. Um, that you'll see them light up as they play um, in your composition. I'm not sure if you can, I think you can also even record. So you can record like, like MIDI notation from the drum kit. But it's a cool kit and it's really lightweight. So you can run it on an older, slower computer as well. But it's a great one for getting started because you can actually see the drums. And if you're just kind of, you know, want to figure out what the different drums sound like, and like I said, you can play it on the keyboard as well to, you know, each different key on the keyboard is a different note on the drum kit, which is going to be similar for all the rest of these as well. So this one, for example, is the drum kit from Zen Add, Zen Add Sub Effects. Um, it's not amazing, but I just wanted to show this that like sometimes you'll have a plugin with lots of different instruments and they'll include a drum kit and people kind of overlook that. So with this drum kit, you know, each note on the keyboard is going to be a different uh, a different drum, you can change the intensity and the, the, the velocity of it, the volume of it. Um, let's hop over here. So this is I'm running I'm running Carla to to use my my plugins. So again, if you're on Windows, this will be a little different. But this plugin is called Fabla, um, and what's cool about it, it just lets you load in samples. So you can load in like a like a wave file, uh, or it supports some other different formats as well. And then you can just map this. Again, you can map it to keep the keys on a keyboard if you're using a MIDI keyboard. You can also just click and play. So here's a couple of ways that you can just load in, like a WAV file, for example. This one is a sound font. Um, what is it? Ultimate Wii sound font. So I think this is from like the Nintendo Wii, maybe. Um, but again, it's just going to be mapped to the keyboard. And this is just a sound font, like a MIDI sound font. So it's really lightweight. Um, and then there's different settings in here. So within this one sound font, it has some, you know, these four different um, drum kits, I guess, from within there. And again, we're not going to see the, the the image like we did on the plugin. If this isn't really a plugin, it's just a sound font. Um, and you can, there's tons, you know, hundreds, thousands of of sound fonts for drum kits you can use. This last one we'll look at is using Drum Gizmo, and it's really cool um, because you can actually load in these kits, and these ones are very, very high quality. They're massive, like several gigabytes sometimes to download just these different audio. So they actually went through and, and recorded the, the drum kits being played at different velocities, at different speeds, at different volume levels, like everything. And, and that's why it's so, so large. And then as you play, you know, it's, it's not playing the same drum twice. And here's hopping over to the website. You can see the different drum kits and you can click, um, you can download these drum kits and just kind of see what they look like, videos about what they sound like, the actual real drum kit that it was, you know, the samples were, were created from. So this is really, really cool. Um, I believe there's ways you can support all of these as well. I'll include a link, uh, links to these in the description of the video. So you're, I, I believe there's ways you can support if you like using these, but they are free and open source, um, which we all love. So th hopefully you found this video informative, guys. Um, leave the questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.